Coming to the third bit, we have scored 40 marks in a test, getting 3 marks for each right answer and losing 1 mark for each wrong answer. Had 4 marks been awarded for each correct answer and 2 marks been deducted for each incorrect answer, then Yesh would have scored 50 marks. How many questions were there in the test? So let us assume that correct answer questions is equal to x and wrong answers question is equal to y. So we can say that total number of questions is equal to x plus y. So we are required to find the sum x plus y. According to the given problem, yes scores 40 marks if 3 marks are awarded for each right answer and 1 mark for each wrong answer. So we can say that 3 times of x plus minus 1 times of y is equal to 40. This is because for each correct answer 3 marks will be given and for each wrong answer minus 1 marks will be reduced. So the total marks would become 40. This equation becomes 3x minus y minus 40 is equal to 0. Name this equation as number 1. So according to the second condition which is so for 4 marks will be awarded for correct each correct answer and 2 marks will be deducted for each incorrect answer. So we can write 4 times of x plus minus 2 times of y is equal to 50. That is 4x minus 2y minus 50 is equal to 0. Let this be equation number 2. Now we are required to solve equation number 1 and 2 by cross multiplication method. In order to solve these equations by cross multiplication method, first we need to draw a diagram so that we must write first x, y and 1 like this. First write the coefficients of y that is minus 1 and minus 2, the constants minus 40 and minus 50, the coefficients of x 3 and 4. Again, the coefficients of y minus 1 and minus 2. Now, we will be getting x divided by, on cross multiplication, we get minus 1 times of minus 50 minus minus 2 times of minus 40. This is equal to y divided by minus 40 times of 4 minus minus 50 times of 3. This is equal to 1 divided by 3 times of minus 2 minus 4 times of minus 1. We will be getting x divided by 50 minus 80 is equal to y divided by minus 160 plus 150. This is equal to 1 divided by minus 6 plus 4. This implies x divided by minus 30 is equal to y divided by minus 10 is equal to 1 divided by minus 2. We can write x divided by minus 30 is equal to 1 divided by minus 2 and y divided by minus 10 is equal to 1 divided by minus 2. That is x is equal to minus 30 divided by minus 2 and y is equal to minus 10 divided by minus 2. Therefore, we will be getting x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 5. Therefore, total number of questions is x plus y which is nothing but in place of x we can write 15 and in place of y we can write 5. Therefore, the total number of questions is 15 plus 1 which is nothing but 20.